What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're using a bit of a meta-ish team, not really, but a little bit. We're rocking out with Tornadus and Urshfu, but more importantly, we got Reggie Draco on the scene, who's a fun Pokemon to pair up with Tornadus and get some big time damage off with. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But uh, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator of this team, Superbeard. Thank you so much for making this team and sending it in as a rental code. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to send me rental codes, make sure you guys leave them in the comment section down below or even better, send them to me over on Twitter. There is a link down in the description below to my Twitter page. So. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on fan teams. I love using them. I always love using them. But uh, first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Goldigo. Love this little Pokemon. Seal and Ghost type with good as gold and a choice specs as item. It's got Make It Rain, Thunderbolt, Trick, and Shadow Ball. Probably the best move set for a choice specs Golden Go. We got Tornadus in our second slot. This Pokemon is the best support Pokemon in Regulation D. It's got Prankster in the Focus Sash with Icy Wind for Speed Control, Protect, Tailwind for even more Speed Control, and then Bleak Wind Storm for its final move. We got Urshfu in our third slot, and Choice Scarf Urshfu, I should say, because this Pokemon is insane. This Pokemon is definitely insane, especially with the Choice Scarf. It can outspeed most, do some big-time damage, and pretty much solo matches if need be. It's got Unseen Fist as its ability, with Surge and Strikes, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and U-Turn. In our fourth slot is going to be Reggie Draco, and everybody knows the power of this Pokemon with Dragon Energy. It's got Dragon Maul, Dragon Fang as its item, Dragon Energy, Draco Meteor, Terra Blast to Protect, Pair this thing up with Tornadus, you can set up some Tailwinds, get off some crazy damage with this Pokemon. In our fifth slot, it's one of my brand new favorite Pokemon for Rigor Wrap. I love this guy, love it for Trick Room purposes and for imprisoning Trick Room, and that's exactly what we have it for here today. It's got Armor Tail, Rocky Helmet as item, Imprisoned Trick Room, Dazzling Gleam, and Psychic. Loving this moveset for this Pokemon. Landorus is going to be our final Pokemon, really good at the Intimidate game and really good on the physical attacking side. It's got Assault Vest as item with EQ, Rock Slide, U-Turn, and Stomp and Catch him. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, let's grab some wins with this Reggie Draco Regulation D team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, going up against a Rotom Wash team. You don't really get to see a lot of Rotom Washes on the Regulation D ladder, so that's a pretty cool Pokemon to see. They also have Iron Moth, and then hopping into their meta side, they got Dragonite, Fluttermane, Zapdos, and last but not least, Iron Hands, who I believe they're going to lead, right? Nice little fake out Pokemon. I could lead for Rigoraph, because Rigoraph is not bad. It can stop things with Armor Tail. I can really get after it, or I could go Tornadus. I don't really mind Tornadus. I could go Tornadus and Registraco. That would not be bad. Do I protect on you, Registraco? I do indeed. I'm gonna go Reggie Draco and Tornadus. Because most of the time, Tornadus rocks Curve Cloak, so most people won't even fake it out regardless. So I'm gonna go in with both of them. They could go in Fluttermane if they want to, it is definitely a possibility. And then from here, I could uh, Terrasilize and just actually take it out. So I actually really like both of these guys. I like both of these guys. So I'm gonna go Reggie Draco, I'm gonna go Tornadus, I'm gonna bring Urshfu as a back end Pokemon. And last but not least, do I go Golden Go or do I go Lando? Lando's gonna be nice because it's gonna be super effective onto a few of these guys. I think Lando is going to be my call. Plus, with that Assault Vest, we can outbulk some shots. I'm all about it. We got the Water Terror type. Let's lead it. Intimidate. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's go look, grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been having a lot of fun recording. Huge shout out to everybody who has uh, been supporting me as a content creator. All the subscribes, likes, and even all the new members. Thank Huge shout out to all my members. You guys are awesome. You guys are really awesome. If you guys want to become a member, there should be a join button down below. If it's not there, there's a link down in the description below to become a member. It really does go a long way. So huge shout out to all the members once again. But uh, they're going to lead Iron Hands alongside with Zapdos. And I do believe they fake out Reggie Draco. I'm like very confident they fake out Reggie Draco. So I'm going to protect Reggie Draco. And on top of that, I am just going to go into a Tailwind. I'm going to go Tailwind here. We'll set up the Tailwind. Because again, a lot of people are like, oh my god, like Tornadus is always Covert Cloak. So there's no point in faking it out. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say our opponent makes that move and he's gonna fake out Reggie Draco slot. Then we'll just go from there. But sometimes Iron Hands haven't been rocking out fake out. But you never know. You never know. We're gonna we're gonna act like it is. Because I believe it is. Let's see who he goes to fake out. Yep. Look at that. Look at the reeds, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. The reeds. The reeds going crazy. We get off the tailwind. Hopefully, he's probably just going for like a Thunderbolt into uh, Tornadus. But I feel as we already got our value off with Tornadus. Yep, there's a nice little Thunderbolt. We're dead to that. Actually, we're Sashed. I totally forgot. We are indeed Sashed. And now I can fully just pop a Dragon Energy. Right? Reggie Draco, your speed should be good. Ooh, Tornadus with a little Paralyze. 
Ronas will still be fastest on the field, but has a chance of being paralyzed with 276 HP, which is speed at 113. I like that a lot. So, you know, what? I'm going to go into Dragon Energy. I do believe there's a hot chance they will swap into Fluttermane. And I'm just going to Ice Human on top of this, just in case they do swap into Fluttermane. But yeah, Dragon Energy, definitely our play. He ends up just protecting the Zapdos. I'm cool with that. A little bit of protect action from the Zapdos. Dragon Energy still flying here. How much damage is this going to do? How much damage are you going to do to the Iron Man's? Nice shot. Get a little crit action in there too. We like that a lot. Now I kind of wish we went for a Bleak Wind Storm. But we're going to do this. We're going to get off some nice damage here. And Iron Hands probably attack a Reggie Draco, correct? I hope you attack uh, Thunderous. No, you go for a Drain Punch into uh, Reggie Draco. So now we can't really drag an energy like that. He's going to get back a nice chunk of HP, which kind of hurts his soul. And from here, we are just going to go for a Draco Meteor right into this out this slot. So I'll do that. And on top of that, I will Icy Wind again. Actually, no, we're going to go for Bleak Storm. I think I can definitely see Zapdos swapping into Flutterman here, which would be a tough call, but I'm kind of hoping not. Just so we get off this Draco Meteor and do some big time damage to this Pokemon. Let's see. Hopefully they just didn't bring Flutterman, because Flutterman's an issue. I think it's always a problem, and it doesn't. Cool, it doesn't swap. We get off a Draco Meteor, and we just KO Zapdos all day. So that's a big time KO. I do believe they're going to drop a nice, lovely Drain Punch into Dra Draco again. So, I'm cool with that. Bleak Windstorm now flies out here. And if we would have went into that turn one, we would have actually KO'd Iron Hands. We got that thing low on HP. He's probably Drain Punching me again. That is correct. And he does that kind of damage to me. Hmm. If he gets back HP, he's just surviving here. He's just slowly surviving. Dragonite's going to come out here. So, first turn priority is going to be his best friend. So, I'm really hoping we could just take off... Uh, I really hope we can just take off Sash here. So I'm just going to go for a nice, lovely Draco Meteor. And on top of that, I am just going to go for Icy One. I'll play it safe. E Speed's going to come out on somebody. But I really just want to take off Multi Scale on uh, Dragonite. So we're going to see a nice, lovely Terror type. Probably normal into the Dragonite. And they'll pick up a double KO. So I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position. I still have Urshifu in the back end. Great little Pokemon. Can get some work done. Tailwind is going to end rather soon, but a choice Scarf with them. Should be able to get some work. Should be able to get some work. I do believe they have Flutterman back in. Now comes East Speed, which is kind of odd into Tornado. You're going to let me get off a Draco Meteor onto the Dragonite, but that's fine. It's all good. Draco Meteor's going to fly here. It's going to take all multi scale and do meh, a smidge of damage, we should say. A nice, lovely smidge of damage. Now Drain Punch flies over there. And now I kind of understand why they uh, went in that order. Because he gets more HP back with Iron Hands by hitting my Reggie Draco. The Iron Man's back up to half HP, which kind of sucks, man. We had that thing down. We had that thing down. The Tailwind is gone. So Tailwind finally ends. We got Lando. This is actually going to be a great Intimidate. A really good Intimidate. Two physical attackers. We love it. So I get to pull that off. Uh, I can stop and catch him and take out Iron Hands. No problem. And do I go for close combat here? I'm going to be choice. The thing is, I don't want Fluttermane to be in the back end, which is a problem. It really is a problem. And I had the choice to move. Do I think they have Fluttermane in the back end? I highly believe they have Fluttermane in the back end. But I don't want to choice into a close combat. Even though close combat can rip right now. I'm going to go Surgeon Strikes and hope that KOs. So I'm going to go Surgeon Strikes. I'm going to go Stomping Tantrum into the Iron Hands. And yeah, we'll go from there. Surgeon Strikes flies in this KO. Mm, we should have close combat it. I don't think it's KO. Really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. But pick up some nice damage. Lovely little damage. Wonder what Dragonite's going for. It's not choice banned. Zombie Tats can come out here. This KO? This should KO. Cool with this KO. So we end up KOing you. And I wonder what Dragonite's going for. I'm very curious to see what Dragonite's going for. An Ice Spin. Of course you're rocking Ice Spin. That's going to KO me four times super effective. I should have just close combat it. And now we're sitting here. Who's your final Pokemon? I want to see if it's fun or me. It is fun, I mean, so good thing we didn't close combat, but still, we're sitting in a real rough position here. Um, huh. Protosynthesis come out here, that's gonna boost special attack. We should still be able to outspeed, and you know what? We're gonna Surgeon Strikes you. We're gonna Surgeon Strikes Fluttermane. We're gonna hope that we can KO Fluttermane with Surgeon Strikes. I don't think we can. 
And we're just getting ripped. We're just getting ripped up here right now. Certain so Strikes flies here. And actually, did I? This my KO. Did I have Terror this whole time? This is gonna KO, which is big time. Did I have Terror this whole time? I maybe might have threw this match. Did I have Terror this whole time into water? I don't think, I don't remember using my Terror. I had Terror this whole time. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. We should be able to survive. I'm not even gonna use my Terror, but I'm an idiot. We could have KO'd Dragonite very easily by Terrasalizing. It was for another E speed. We should be able to soak this up thanks to Intimidate. And yeah, I, I'm gonna win regardless, but still, I could have, if I would have lost this match, it would have totally been on me. I had Terra this whole time. I totally forgot about it. That's hilarious, but we still end up winning this match. Showcases this team even better. We can win without Terra. We're 1 0. Let's go back to back in match number two. That honestly is so funny. We almost lost the match because me, myself, did not terrestrialize, which is hilarious. But hey, we won it regardless. We don't even need Terra. We don't need that, man. We're hopping into our second match. We're going up against a Tinkaton team. I do believe they're going to lead Tinkaton. They also have Spectre, Tornadus like us, Amoongus for support, Iron Deli. Is that? No, it's Iron Bundle. Iron Deli. <laughs> Iron Bundle and then uh, Indeedee for its final Pokemon. So a lot of support on their team. A lot of support. I think they might lead a Pokemon like Tinkaton. I think I could go into the Reggie Draco combo. Even though that is fairy. I don't mind. I don't mind the Reggie Draco combo. Because if I can pull it off, that's that'd be big for us. That would be big for us. But you know what? I think I just go to an and I maybe go choice specs gold to go. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's a bad move for us. I actually kind of really like this move. So I'm gonna go in with both of these guys. I'm gonna go in with gold to go. I'm gonna go in with Tornas. I'm gonna bring Ursh in the back end. And then last but not least. Lando, Lando. His Intimidate came up so clutch, so I kind of want him again. What's your tower type? I think it's water, which is awesome. I think it's water. Correct? Yeah, water. Like, we're going to use it. We didn't even use our tower last time. But still, I want Lando here. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. I was so upset because after I hit the Flutter Man, I was thinking to myself in my head, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't remember Terrasalizing. And then, it, then I was just like, I got to check because I could have Terrasalized K with the Dragonite. And that would have been, that would have been GG game, no problem. But good thing I did not choice into a close combat. I'm actually really happy that I that I thought to myself that there's a hot chance that uh that what's called could be in the back end. That uh Flutterman would be in the back end. But they end up leading Spectre and Amoongus. I'm gonna go Tailwind and I'm gonna Terrasalize Steel. I think Terrasalize Steel and just going for a make it rain is hundred percent my play. Choice spect, stab damage, terror damage. Seems like an easy play. Plus we could dodge a shadow ball or any ghost moves coming into Golden Go. Not dodge it, but uh, it won't be super effective anymore. So I really like this. I really like the Golden Go with the choice spec here. wonder what Amoongus is going to do here. Rage Battle? I kind of hope it Rage Battle. I just waste a turn like that. A lovely little Rage Battle would be, would be dandy. It does not. I think he's looking to spore somebody here. No protects come out. Let's see what he ends up going for. I just outspeed with the tail and I go for Make It Rain. Let's see Sash pop out from Spectre. We do, and we almost KO Amoongus, which kind of hurts that we don't. That's some big damage, though. We like that. We like that damage. I think he's going to put me to sleep, though. I think Golden Ghost is going to sleep. There's a Shadow Ball coming in here. That's exactly why we Terrasalize. We'll be able to soak. And you put me to sleep? No, you're toxicing me. Whoa there. Whoa there, partner. Whoa there, partner. Hold the phone. Whoa there, partner. Um, I feel as from here we can hard swap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take a, a gamble here. I'm gonna say my boy Tornadus over here ain't missing. He's not missing. He's not missing. Actually, Icy Wind, can Icy Wind KO? No. You're not missing Bleak Wind Storm. You're not missing it. It's as simple as that. You're not missing that, and I'm gonna hard swap into Earth Figure. Because you're just not missing. I'm gonna reset my special attack stat. I'm gonna reset my choice uh, spec. And my Tornadus is not missing. He's gonna double land this Bleak Wind Storm, pick up a double KO, no problem. And then we go from there, right? Then we have Urshfu already out on the field. And I could bring Golden Go back out here if need be. I could have played it smart and maybe just uh, stayed in there with Golden Go, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a gambling man. Battle was canceled. <laughs> hey, yo. 2 0. We take that all day. That is how you win a match in one turn. Just Tailwind, make it rain with Golden Go, and it's pretty much GG's from there.
Makes opponents quit every single time. It's hilarious. But uh, third and final match coming at you guys. We actually have a challenge on our hands here. Shen Pao, Dragonite, Fluttermane with Cresselia, Gudra, and Ursaluna. So they could go Trick Room for sure. They definitely could go Trick Room. Uh, do I want to leave for Rigorath? Just in case they do go Trick Room. I don't think they're going to go Trick Room, but there is a possibility that they do. Um, I could go Intimidate with Lando. Um, I could always U-turn out with Lando. I kind of like Lando as a nice little lead here. I'm scared of the Shen Pao. Like, Shen Pao is a little problem. But, uh, Urshfu is definitely going to come in here for lead. Choice Scarf. You can outspeed most, especially in turn one. I like it a lot. Um, Tornadus, I don't really think we need. I don't really, I don't really think we need that. And then from here, actually, I could go maybe just, like, Tornadus and Reggie Draco turn one. I could do that. I could do that. Definitely could. You know, we're going to do that. We're going to go Tornadus, Reggie Draco. Bring Urshi Urshi in the back end, and then either Golden Goat or Lando. And I'm leaning towards Lando. Intimidate on a lot of these physical attackers. Plus, the typing's pretty solid up against most besides Shen Pao. I like it. I, I like it. I dig it. I can get down with it. I can get down with it. But yeah, we're 2 0. Hot start for today's video. This match was super, super simple. And uh, oh, this guy's got a picture of Zassian. I love me some Zassian. Reminds me of the good old Sword and Shield days where Zassian could KO any Dynamax Pokemon in one shot. With his, uh, with his sword move. I, I forget what it's called. But he ends up going into these two. Which I do not mind. Reggie Draco can outspeed after Tailwind. They have no fake out. And Crest is not a fairy type. Even though it looks like a fairy type. So Tailwind. Going to pop. I'm just going to throw a Dragon Energy. Even though I believe Reggie. Well not Reggie. Uh, I believe Chen Pao is sashed up. So. The Ice Spinners and KOs me after this. That's totally fine. I would just love to get off some big time damage. And if he wants to go into a Trick Room. That could be a little iffy. Because it's weird that the lead that they have, right? Chen Pao Crest? That's weird. That's weird. That's weird, but... Weird in Pokemon is good. It definitely is good. Oh, do not tell me you're a fairy, Crest. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Alright, now I'm looking. Come on, man. Of course this thing's fairy. Good terror type from him. He could protect the, uh... The Chen Pao and pop a trick him, which would be huge soon. And he ended up just sucker punching him, which was actually really smart. His was really smart. It was really smart, and I think he pops a trick him all day. It's a great play by our opponent. Really, really solid plays from our opponent. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Energy. Still should do a nice chunk to Shen Pao, which it does. And you're gonna pop the room's full trick? Indeed. Indubitably. Okay, now we're in a terrible position. One of the worst positions. I'm gonna go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Look at that. And do I just protect you? No, I'm gonna actually... Double down into... I'm gonna double down into Shen Pao. I want this thing gone. I want Shen Pao gone. I want Shen Pao gone, but this one's just looking like a lot of trouble. Moonblast is gonna fly here. And he's gonna pick up the... Actually, not the double KO. Because, oh, you're not even gonna get one KO. Because I was gonna say, because we're sashed. But we're able to soak this up. Ice Spinner's gonna fly here into Tornadas. I am sashed on this thing. Which is lovely for us. And I should be able to get rid of Shen Pao. What's the big time KO? The Draco Meteor flying. We say bye bye to you. And we'll go for a nice spinner. Do I swap right to Draco save for later? I don't know. I think we just let these guys die out, right? I think we just let these guys die out. I do want to waste out some tricking turns. Do you indeed want to waste out tricking turns. So, second Pokemon comes in here. It's going to be Ursuline. And that's just looking. That's just not looking good. So I'm going to double protect here. Waste out these stricken turns. Ursuline could protect here as well. And this is just not looking good for your boy. I don't have protect on my Urshifu, which is awful. It is awful, because then he can just facade me and KO me. Not looking good. Not looking good for your boy. You know, honestly, I should have hard swapped into uh, Intimidate Lando this turn. And then pull him back. And sacrifice a shot. That's what I should have done. Maybe I'll do it next turn. Maybe I will do it next turn. So I end up just double protecting. Trying to get after it. And Ursuline is going for the facade. So I'm trying to think here. If I swap into Lando here. And let one die. I'm just trying to waste out these trickling terms. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of just swapping. 
How many turns left? Two. I'm thinking of just swapping to an honest for Lando, right? Letting this Reggie Draco die out. Hold up, thinking in my head. Letting Reggie Draco die out. And then swapping Lando again for Tornadus. Or even swapping Urshifu for Tornadus. Just to waste out the trick room turns. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw a Draco Meter into this slot. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to Intimidate. I think he's going to go for an EQ potentially, right? I kind of hope he goes for an EQ. I really don't want to eat up the facade. Come on, go for an EQ. Just go for an EQ Lunar Blessing kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. We like that. We like that. So we like the EQ coming in here. Because I can eat up a Moon Blast all day. I got invested as well. So EQ comes out here. We intimidated him already. And from here, go for a Moon Blast. Which I'm able to sick. So now I bring out Urshifu, right? Do I protect on you, Lando? I don't think I have protect on you, which kind of hurts. Oh, Tailwind's gone. Now I just bring out... Do I protect on you? I don't. That really hurts. Huh. <laughs> this is tough news. They have to save Urshville. So I'm gonna go into Tornas. I could protect them. Uh, speed's not a, not really a big problem for me. Hmm. I would love that you turn out. Oh, this is tough news. This is tough. Trying to waste out tricking, always a problem. Assad went over this slot. Say less. It's in calm minds up. That's my play. So this thing can calm mind up. Get a nice little special attack boost. I'm gonna e turn out here. Okay. I feel you, I understand. Oh, you understand. So now Tailwind's gone. Um, well, not Tailwind. Trick Room's gone, but still, they can set it up pretty easily, correct? They can set it up. They can get cooking with it. I still have Terra. I think I'm going to Terra Urshfu here. And choice into Surge of Strikes. Go after you. I believe Ursaluna has a hot chance of protecting. And I'm just going to bleep and storm on top of that. I think Ursuline is going to protect and he's going to try to pop off Trick Room. Mm -mm -mm. He is minus one. We do have Intimidate in the back end. We're playing this one pretty, pretty good. I should say myself, even though I feel as we're going to lose this match. I'm trying my best here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking outside the box and I feel like that's what I've been getting good at. It's just like thinking, thinking a bit differently when like situations are hard. Because there are like more options than you think there are. To pull off in, in Pokemon. So always think out your options. But I'm gonna Tarasalize here. I do believe Ursuluna has a chance of protecting here, which would be big time for us. And then just pop in a trick room. And he doesn't protect. He's just gonna stay in here. Look to do as much damage as he can. But we gotta try to get rid of this crest here. And I don't we don't have enough. Like this thing's just so bulky. And it has Rocky Helmet, man. So I don't think we have enough in the tank to actually KO this thing. Bleak Wind Storm's not gonna KO it. Yeah, I don't think Bleak Wind Storm could do nearly enough. Look how much Rocky Helmet damage we just took. An absurd amount. Half HP? That is absurd. Can you take out Bleak Windstorm? You do. Okay, hold up. We're gonna hope. We're gonna hope that Ursuluna goes after my, uh... Goes after my Tornadus with a Facade. If that happens, we have a hot chance of winning this game. But I believe he's going for Ursu with a Facade. Play rough. Which we eat. Which we eat thanks to Intimidate. Oh, baby. Which we scarf. We got some speed. Hopefully no first turn priority Pokemon in the back end. That could be ugly. And it's going to be Gudra. So Gudra comes out here. I have choice in certain strikes. I am going to finish off you and... Hmm. 
I gotta finish off you. So I'll finish off you and... Oh man. I guess we just Icy win? I don't know. What do we do up against the Scooja? There's Bleak Wind Storm. I do have Lando, but Shelter here is gonna be the play. Big time Shelter. We're choosing the Surge Strikes. Did I get rid of you? I wish the other Surge Strikes would slide it over. That'd be pretty cool. We're gonna bleak one storm. I think he shelters here. If he doesn't shelter here, we have a hot shot at winning this. But shelter's definitely a play call here. Get real bulky out here. No, he trade a body press. I don't mind that. I bring out Lando and I can hit hard. I can hit EQs for free because I got Tornados on the field. But yo, we play this one really well. Win or lose this match, we play this one super, super well. Kind of counter the trick room, swapping at a good time. Wasting out the turns really, really good. Protects worked out. Everything working out. So now I can go back into Lando, which we saved for later, which is actually perfect. This is like one of my only Pokemon that can really get some work done onto, onto the uh, the Gudra. We got attack drop, and I'm just going to free the EQ. EQ coming out here alongside with a... Bleakwind Storm should do more damage, so... I'm going to go Bleakwind Storm. Bleakwind Storm doing about six and a half, and EQ. How much damage are you doing, EQ? Nothing crazy, but I think you should half this HP, right? I think you should be able to half this. More than half. I love you. So if this thing doesn't... Uh, yes, I mean, that's game. We win this all day. We win this all day. Jeans pulls this off? Come on, man. If you guys are watching this far, you guys just watched me pull off this victory, you guys definitely be, leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Do it right now. Stop what you're doing. I won't click this button until you hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. I'll cross my arms. I'm just playing. Let's get it. EQ comes out here. We're gonna bleak windstorm. That's gonna be GG's. What a third and final match from us. He ends up protecting. Stop that. Get some help. Come on, man. Let me just let me just win the match. Let me let me wrap it up. Great match. Now that's the definition of a good a good VGC Pokemon match, right? Competitive ranked match. That's a good one. That, that, this one right here was a good one. Great great match from our opponent. All that good stuff. But yeah, always always think. Make your options out because you have more options than you think. Like just watch the pro the pros play for a little bit and you'll see like the, the moves they pull you like how they think of that. There's just so many more options than you think there are. Like a bleak wind storm, I go EQ. Wrap it up. We all we need is EQ to win this one. But your boy pulled it off. Bleak wind storm finally misses. I knew it was due for a due for a miss. AD accuracy. EQ now flies. He has acid armor up, but this should KO. It does. Cool. Dope. Awesome. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0. Another perfect record added to the channel. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is too easy. 3 0 with this amazing Twin Eyes and Reggie Draco team. Lander is definitely showcased really, really well. Same thing with Golden Go and Mash number 2. Urshfu always doing work. And we did not use Free Graph in today's video, but we showcased Free Graph in the path past so it's it's not a big deal it really isn't a big deal but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to leave a like on it and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread spots every day i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody